In a press conference today, Tampa Police Chief Brian Dugan said 40 buildings were burglarized and looted in last night's protests and said five of those buildings burned. These are just some of the areas hit hard by riots overnight. Our 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Birch talked to some of those business owners, including one at the Marathon Station on Fowler, as well as community members who say they're hurt and they're frustrated. The owners and managers say they came here early this morning to find their windows smashed and the cash register on the ground in front. They say they were just glad that they closed early last night so that no one inside was hurt. The most important thing for me, my guys staying okay and we didn't okay. have any, and nobody got hurt. Owner Dan Padawi says in the 15 years he's had Marathon Gas Station in Tampa, he's never seen anything like this before. He says people grabbed beer, cigarettes, cigars, whatever they could take. For no reason. Like, I don't know why they did that. As he and his employees begin to pick up the pieces today, community members came to help clean up, sharing in his confusion and frustration. And then they're going to do this vandalize instead of protesting. I'm sorry, I got sentiment. This is just sad. This is sad what they did to our community, to our store. This is not how you protest. In a press conference, Tampa Police Chief Brian Dugan addressed business owners who lost everything in the riots. I say I'm sorry, because as Chief of Police, to see this happen under my watch, it's very difficult to deal with. And nearby at Shoe Mountain, the neighbors came to help and show support. Also at a loss why this store was targeted. The black community, he supports the black community. Sure. And why loot his store? Owners Chad Douglas and Kareef Johnston tell me between the damage and lost shoes, they lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in the riots last night. And we want to protest with them, but this is a community, and to see our community uh, come and tear down our community is something that's really hurtful. A lot of people know who we are as a, as a store, as a black-owned business, and we try to take care of our community because one thing we knew from growing up is not just about us. We can't rise if we don't rise together. The owner of the marathon says he doesn't know when he'll be able to reopen and says that he lost $40,000 in cash and merchandise alone.